Welcome. You are listening to the Holistic Travel Nurse Podcast. This is Naomi, your host. Stay tuned. Hey, listeners. Thanks for um, checking out my podcast and listening to the episodes. I hope to enlighten your ears, inspire you to improve your health, and take care of it naturally. Well, with that said, we need to talk about food. More importantly, we need to talk about fat. It was something that we've read about and I remember being brought up, I'm going to age myself, back in the day when they would low fat everything because fat is bad. Fat is bad. Fat is not bad. Now, the standard American diet, yes, let me read a little bit from the undoctored book. Um, If you've not read it, you might want to go pick it up. Hopefully, maybe I can get um, Dr. William Davis, MD, maybe on the podcast someday. But let me just share with you about omega-6 fatty acids. Too much, too little? Do you know what you're supposed to do? Well, food contains plenty of corn, canola oil, soybean oil, and other seed oils. Omega-6 linoleic acid intake and higher than it should be. So those are those oils right there that you have in the standard American diet that's too much. Too much. Such high intakes of omega-6 fatty acids contribute to inflammation, depression, heart disease risk, development defects in children, combining um, with two low levels of omega-3 diet, omega-3 fatty acids in your diet, also um, will um, increase those risk of all those things that he talked about. So what's those, those omega-3 fatty acids we need are EPA, DHA, and the liponic acid Okay, so the intake of these oils increase too much fat and the linoleic acid contains fat cells that is stripped. Avoid processed seed oil will help you eliminate omega-6. So I'm sorry, that's your french fries. Those things that are deep fried are all like fried in processed nasty soy bean oil or canola oil. So if you're cooking... I'd strongly suggest at home using a nice coconut oil, an avocado oil. Those are going to be better for you. And a very good dark bottle olive oil. Half the time when you buy olive oils, if it's a cheaper price, you're not even getting very good quality olive oil in that bottle. So those are some some ways. Now, foods that help bring up the omega-6 intake while you restore the omega-3 fatty acids is obviously fish consumption. So those are sardines. Those are things like your fresh trout if you go fishing and of course your salmon. Unfortunately, some people have this um, advice meaning the absolute avoidance of omega-6 fatty acids. That's not true. In fact, you are to, this is according to what, he's, what I'm reading in the book. If you were to engage in an incomplete avoidance of minus, um, and may just a six fatty acids, you would get ill or eventually die. This is because omega-6 fatty acids are essential for the human body and we can't make them. So lacking omega-6 and we lack omega-3, you'll leads to, he says, lacking in omega-6, you can lead to skin rashes, impaired immunity, um, even impaired growth in children because they need that omega-6 fatty acid. So we don't want omega-6 overload, but we also don't want omega-6 deficiency. So that's the balance of the omega-6, omega-3. Once omega-6 um, seed oils are avoided, Moderate consumption of um, seeds themselves, such as sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds, walnuts, chia seeds, flax seed, 
um, and even a lot of healthy meats will have your omega-6 and those are the healthy good omega-6 in that way so consuming no so my challenge is for you if you want to take your health to the next level do something for 20 days even push it for 30 days that is going to move the needle in your health so eliminate white sugar make one step this month i'm eliminating white sugar and then next month well you can challenge yourself to something else like i'm gonna lose eliminate all grain or i'm gonna eliminate all dairy or i'm gonna drink more water and decrease soda stop the diet coke Simple things like that are going to really move the needle in your health and move the needle on the scale. So those are some of my tips. And I think this is an interesting book. I will share a lot more about it. But I wanted that to be understood that the balance of omega-6 and the balance of omega-3 in your diet is so crucial. And it's crucial for decreasing all those um, risks and disease processes. So, meaning you want good omega-6s in your nuts, and you also really need good omega-3s, and a lot of people don't even get enough omega-3s. A lot of people are getting enough omega-6 in many other areas, such as anything fried, like you go and get something fried, you're getting that omega-6. Other areas where you can get omega-6, obviously, is your nuts. So, those are your and then also in meats so it's really important though the omega-3s also help balance that out and for me personally when i first started taking supplements and i increased my omega-3s i couldn't take the fish oils half the time you find fish oils at the store their heavy metal content it is pretty high if they're getting the fish oils so you have to have one that's been chelated and a good one um you're going to hear more about this on my podcast when it comes to the lifelong vitality pack that's what I take and that's what's been a game changer for my life and the omega-3s in their product I can actually take and not have it upset my stomach or in other brands before previous they would cause a lot of upstack in my stomach sorry if you hear my dog in the background they're always next to me and they're spoiled so this episode It's just to challenge you to make something and do something with your health and your diet for 20 days. And then to educate yourself on good fat and don't be scared of fat. Fat is important for your health. So, and it's balancing again, the omega-6 and the omega-3s. And you'll hear more about this in time. So thanks for listening, you guys. I hope this is helpful for you. I hope that you are doing something amazing for your health. Um, You're moving the needle some way or another. 